Hey guys, and welcome to another Factorio Friday Facts discussion. And today they are uh, talking about kind of improving some of the UI and tooltips and also the uh, mini tutorials and stuff like that. It's actually fairly interesting uh, what they go through here. So we'll start at the top. Uh, it's vacation season here in the office, so a lot of the team is taking time off. We just release what will probably be the last version of 15, so now it's the best time for everyone to take a breather. So yeah, they did just release uh, 15... Point thirty four, uh, which fixed some bugs, I think quite a bit related to the blueprint library and such, so that's good. Hopefully it will be the last uh, version of 15, uh, completely stable or pretty darn close. And uh, now on to armor and equipment. So this is uh, Clonin writing this. I've been working on the next set of mini tutorials in preparation for six, uh, 16. I, he uh, recently finished the last logistic bot tutorial when I pondered what needs to be explained next. My thinking is that the complexities of the game lay in the high concept areas, train systems, circuit networks, logistics, etc. Everything below this is just so simple and obvious we can assume the player will learn on their own. So he says, you know, essentially he brainstormed didn't come up with much, so he asked uh, Jitka, our office administrator, what aspects of the game she struggled with. Uh, one thing she mentioned was the whole equipment section of crafting menu. She said, I don't know what it is, so I have never touched it. Uh, which is true. A lot of the, like, uh, like power armor modules and equipment things don't really say, like, exactly, uh, necessarily what they do or, like, what you're supposed to do with them. Uh, you know, he says equipment modules are just random items put in your crafting section. Uh, so with this new perspective, I started to see the lack of information related to this topic. The most glaring uh, omission is in the item tooltip itself. It doesn't say, I'm an equipment, put me in armor, or I am armor, which can accept equipment. So, uh, which is very true. And this is actually kind of an interesting uh, thing, kind of veering off a little bit um, from just reading this, is a lot of the people, like a lot of you guys watching this, and myself, and just a lot of the community, has played the game for long enough that they've learned most of this stuff and it, it's kind of hard to catch it. And I think that's maybe what a uh, clone experience here is, you know, he obviously is very familiar with the game. He's played a lot and, and such. So he kind of just looks straight over this, but to people who haven't played a lot, who, who are newer to the game, uh, this stuff really does kind of pop out is like, you know, it is a problem. Like what, what am I supposed to do with this equipment? Does it, you know, is it, is it an item I place? Does it go in an armor? Is it, you know, go in my uh, hot bar or something to use it. And uh, and like I said, for more experienced players, uh, this along with other parts of the game is uh, really easily overlooked by people who already know about it. So uh, he says here, uh, the issue of mods adding equipment grids to cars and trains somewhat complicated the issue, but in a short time, our seating had a working version of the feature running smoothly. So good old our seating uh, got this working and I really like how this has turned out what they've done here so this is like what it will look like in 16 is uh you know a power armor when you mouse over it in the uh crafting menu it will say it accepts these things which is pretty much it doesn't even like have to explain it which is really nice you know it's not like two sentence like two paragraphs of like it does this 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 it just shows the pictures which is a very good uh way of demonstrating it you know because obviously you can look at these in your crafting menu and be like oh okay so you know, these are except in the power armor, I guess I put these in here. And then, you know, with the other, with these things themselves, they use the energy shield as an example, is placed in, and again, it's just pictures, which is a really nice, clean way to do it, is uh, you can just look and be like, oh, okay, so I actually put these in my armor, and these are the only three it can go in and such. So I really, really like this improvement. I think it, it will be huge uh, for newer players and stuff to just, you know, be able to look and just be like, oh, okay, this does this, and it's, it's clear, it's clean, really well done here, I think. Uh, with this information more clearly available to the player in the mini tutorial explaining how all of it works, I'm confident no player will ever see these items and say, I don't know what they do. Exactly. So mod dependencies, this is actually a really interesting one because uh, it can be really confusing, like even for, I would say, moderately experienced players, like for a such a long time, I didn't understand this at all. I do now, just because I play with mods so much, uh, you know, mess with stuff like that. But uh, the mod dependencies is, this is another one that's just obvious to us. A dependency with a question mark in orange is optional. What does optional mean? Well, it's obvious, right? Um, optional means it isn't required to run a mod. But, you know, for newer players, is this is kind of confusing. I mean, when you just look at this, if you just remember back to when you first started or just imagine you know, that you've just started playing the game and maybe you want to add a few mods, you look at this and it's like, 
I mean, what what the hell does this mean? Like, what's the difference? Do I need these? You know, what do I do with this information? Um, so, you know, again, he says we don't communicate any of this to the player, and it isn't so hard to explain. So now they in 16 they have they've added tooltips. So you mouse over it, and it says these dependencies are optional and not required for this mod to work, which uh, is obviously clearer and kind of helps. It's better than just the question marks here. This is what it looks like now and uh, it, it's just really confusing. <laughs> uh, it's been quite interesting to look through the game with the lens of do we ever explain this and it will certainly help me as I write more mini tutorials on all different as aspects of the game. If you have any of these experiences in the game or know of any of these unexplained areas please let us know. Um, and then I'm going to show uh, the high resolution radar and then we'll come back to this because there's some more I want to talk about. High resolution radar looks so awesome. I just like the 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 level of detail you can now see on these is so cool. Just like all the little frameworks and like the struts and stuff. It's uh, in fact you can actually, holy hell, you can actually see, I'm gonna try to zoom in here without messing, oh geez. Um, you can actually see underneath a little gear wheel spinning like super fast. I don't know if you can see that on the video, it's actually really hard for me to even see, but there's like a little, like a gear wheel underneath this just spinning super fast to actually turn this thing, which is super, super cool. Um, so, so, yeah, so that's that. Very, very awesome. Uh, they keep pumping these out. I can't wait for the RoboPort one. That one's going to look super cool. Uh, but anyway, in regards to this stuff, so I was reading, again, I always read through the forum discussions and the Reddit uh, comments and stuff for this because there's a lot of good information and kind of pulling from that. Uh, a few comments that kind of jumped out at me and that got me thinking and, and I would agree with is uh, this is still maybe a little confusing. I mean, the, the tool tip pretty much just blatantly explains it, which is fine. But someone made an interesting point is they were like optional dependencies uh, maybe shouldn't be called dependencies because if it's optional, it's not really a dependency, which, you know, I don't know the quote unquote like technical definition of, de I mean, Obviously, I know what dependency means, but like, you know, if you were to look up the actual, you know, dictionary <laughs> uh, description of it, you know, maybe maybe this does still need to be dependency. Uh, but being optional is, uh, I don't know, it maybe, it's really nitpicky, but it was just an interesting comment that kind of got me thinking like, hmm, you know, maybe, maybe they have a point. It, it, maybe this should just be like optional additions or, or like, uh, you know optional add-ons or something rather than dependencies because in my mind dependency in itself means that like it's required but like it, it seems to me like optional and dependency kind of clash with each other but again I you know I could be totally wrong I'm uh you know I, I don't know so let me know what you think in terms of that and then uh, also, I'd love to hear thoughts in regards to other things that kind of fall into this category of, well, it needs more explaining and such like that, kind of like he asked for here, uh, down here. So a few other comments people made in the uh, Reddit sub posts and stuff, which I would completely agree with, is combinators and circuit stuff. Uh, now, I think they are going to, he is going to do a mini tutorial on that, but even just the, like, tool tips and stuff, I feel like there just needs to be some... I, I, it would be harder to do than the equipment stuff that they did, but it's still really unclear. Like, I mean, it says, you know, it does like a rhythmic or operations with the circuit network. It outputs constant signals with the circuit network and then, uh, you know, stuff like that. But it's still like, unless you actually know anything about that, it just makes no sense. Like multiple comments I was reading were like, you know, I've never even touched the circuit network or combinators because I have literally no idea what they do. And uh, and they said, you know, I, I had no idea what they did until I went and watched a YouTube video or, or a few. And, and, and a really interesting point is what the same person said is they were like, you know, I didn't understand it all until I watched the YouTube video and it shouldn't be that hard like to figure it out. Like I shouldn't have to go outside the game to, and spend all this time trying to learn it, something like that. Which, I mean, is kind of true, kind of not. I mean, obviously, you know, sometimes you have to go look up tutorials. That's kind of why they exist. Uh, but I feel like some sort of m better explanation maybe would be good. And then in addition to that is the resistances and damage and such, which 
is a really good point and one I hadn't thought of, but now it makes even more sense. And it's almost more of a problem now because it's kind of weird what they've done, honestly. This is one thing I didn't agree with at all, one of the changes they made in 15. And I believe there's a mod that actually brings it back. But they removed the resistance, um, like, displays, resistance, like, tooltips on all vehicles and such. Like, like the power armor, I guess, still shows it. You know, this shows, like, acid explosion, fire, physical, and stuff. But it used to show it on, like, tanks and, like, cars and stuff like that. And they took that out, and I don't really understand why. Maybe to, like, eliminate confusion. But now the fact that it shows it on armor and not those things is, like, you know, what gives here? Do these have no resistances? Um, and it was really helpful information if you understood what they meant. And, uh, and that was another person's comment, is some more information in regards to what this means. And uh, I'm trying to think how to explain this. I knew I always forget which way it works. Um, I always have to refresh my memory. Uh, but essentially what ha how this works is, is it applies one of these and then the other. And I don't remember what order it's in. Uh, I think it's the flat number first and then the percentage. But I could be wrong. So, t you know, if I'm wrong, then it's entirely possible. But... I used to know exactly how these are and I forget, but essentially how the resistances work is obviously for each type of damage is it applies the, it, it reduces it by the, the, the number and the percentage. In one of them it does first, I want to say the number just because that's the one it shows first, but I could be entirely wrong. Um, so for like acid, if say you have 20 damage coming to you, acid damage, it knocks 7 of it off and then 30 off from that. And I believe that would be the way it works. Because if it knocked 30% off the 20, that would be 6 damage off, which which, which would be uh, four, uh, 14. And then 7 off, that would be 7. If you did it the other way, taking 7 off would put you at 13. And 30% of that would be uh, 1.3, 2.6, 3.9. Actually be... Yeah, I think it works with the flat number first. So, you know, let me know if, I mean, someone in the comments probably knows, but that's essentially how these work. So it knocks off the flat number and then the percentage off of what's left, I believe. Um, so for something that's no number and just a percent, it's pretty simple. It's just a percent. So, you know, if you have 100 fire damage coming to you, it knocks 60% off, which is 60. So then you only take 40 and stuff. But you know, it's not really clear how these work. I had to, like, look through the wiki pretty extensively to find out when I first was interested in it. And uh, and then, like, again, it, it's even more confusing because now some things, like armor, show it. And then things like vehicles, they took it out and it no longer shows it. So it's like, you know, how, how durable is my tank? I mean, sure, it has, you know, X thousand of XP, but, you know, am I taking 100% damage when a spitter shoots me? Am I, is it being reduced? Uh, you know, when I run through things, how much reduction do I get? Uh, so maybe adding those back in wouldn't be a bad idea. Like I said, there is a mod that does that, and I'm very tempted actually to get it myself because it's quite useful having that information. But that's pretty much it. Those are the, the main things here. A very interesting one, I think, just kind of discussing this. And uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts, as always, in the comments. Any suggestions, like other stuff that maybe pops out to you, like, you know, this needs better explanation and, and such like that. Uh, definitely interested in that, but I believe that'll do it for this one, guys. As always, a link in the description to this Friday Facts if you want to check it out. And uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, feel free to leave a like. And until next time, I look forward to seeing you all, and do take care.